Hi, this video is about a native villa. I know that when you start your career in networking, when you start working with Cisco, it is not easy to understand what a native villa is. In this video I will try and give you a few examples. We will go through a lab and I'm pretty sure you will understand what a native VLAN is. I will assume that you know what a VLAN is, how to create a VLAN on a switch, how to assign a port to a VLAN. We'll go through all these uh, steps anyway, uh, but you should have a very good understanding of uh, switching VLANs and a basic understanding of Cisco CLI as well. Okay, so uh, let's imagine that we have four PCs. One, two, three, and four. I assigned an IP address. PC0 is 192.168.1.2. Here is .3.4 and .5. Okay, what we'll try to do, we'll try, that's not a switch, we'll try and put two switches and create a very simple lab uh, which will allow me to explain everything you need to know well, maybe not everything but will allow me to explain what the native VLAN is all about ok, so we have switch 0 and switch 1 let's take a crossover cable and let's use port let's say port 7 Okay, it's, a, it's always a good idea to label every, everything that we do, so that's what we're going to do as well. We'll label our interfaces. Okay, so we have L07. Okay, and we'll make sure that there is a track between these switches. Okay, again, you should know what a trunk is and how to set it up, but we'll go through uh, through this configuration uh, again, okay? So, we go to the global configuration mode, we go under the interface, and we type switch port mode track, okay? It will hard code this, co this port as a track, okay? To verify, we type show interfaces track and we will see that there is one port that is in tracking mode and this is this native VLAN we'll talk about it in a few minutes okay so that was switch 0 let's go to switch 1 and let's do the same on switch 1 Good. Right. Okay, so we have a trunk between our switches. You should know that all ports on a Cisco switch will be assigned to VLAN 1. Okay, so all ports are assigned VLAN 1 at the moment. So, let's try and uh, connect some PCs. Let's take a straight through cable. Let's use F01 here. Okay. And here F01 as well. We do not have to do anything because these ports are in VLAN 1. So, what can we do? We can try and ping from PC0 to PC3. Okay, the first ping always fails. Let's try it again. And it failed. Let's try again. Good. Okay. 
that was spanning tree, another thing to to tweak on the Cisco switch. Okay, so let's try again. We can ping PC three from PC zero. Okay, good. Now let's try um create VLAN eleven on both switches and let's try and assign a PC to VLAN 11 okay so uh, let's connect PC 1 to port 2 add PC 2 to port 2 okay again let's label it good now we go under this interface and we type switch port mode access to hard code it as an access port and switch port access VLAN 11. Our switch will create this VLAN for us because it was not uh, created so it realized oh I should create this VLAN for you. Okay, verify, show VLAN, and we can see VLAN 11 and port F02 is assigned to VLAN 11. Okay, let's try and do the same on switch 1. and PC1 in VLAN 11. Let's label it VLAN 11. Okay, and these guys are in VLAN 1. Okay. Right. Okay, so I should be able to ping PC2 from PC1. Okay, it's working. Try and do it again. It's working. Will I be able to ping PC0, PC3 from, from PC0? Let's try. It's working, because they are in the same VLAN. Will I be able to ping PC, PC3 from PC1? Let's try. Hmm, fail. Fail. Let's try again. And right now it's not because of the spanning tree protocol or anything like that. It's not possible because they are not in the same VLAN. Even though the IP address is, they are not in the same VLAN. Okay? We need a router to, to make it happen really and a different subnet. But that's another story. Okay? So that is something that you should already know about uh, VLANs. You have to make sure that we are on the same page. So we have a very simple topology with two uh, VLANs and uh, four PCs and two switches. Okay, let's go to switch zero and let's go back to this command show interfaces track and let's try and read this line. The way you should understand this line port FA07 is trunking hard coded as a trunk, it's using 802.1 Q encapsulation mode, and the native VLAN is 1. Okay, so what is this native VLAN? Here is the definition. Native VLAN. Okay, let's try and read. Frames that belong to this VLAN are not encapsulated with any tagging information. Okay, that's what Cisco says a native VLAN is. What, what does it mean? Okay, let's take a look. Let's say this is our frame, okay, with some data inside. Okay, this is our frame. And let's say I want to send this frame, 
from PC0, let's say PC1, to PC2. Okay, so I want to send it like this. This frame, when it when it leaves PC1, it will not have any VLAN information. PCs are not aware of any VLANs, anything like that. Okay, so this frame, just PC1 is happy, will send a message. It's trying to send a message to PC3. This frame will arrive at switch 0, and switch 0 will say, okay, this frame has just arrived at F02, and F02 was assigned to VLAN 11. So I will make sure that this frame is labeled like this, okay, because it has arrived on F02, okay? And uh, I do not have any PCs on this side assigned to VLAN 11, but I have my friend on the other side, who might, uh, who might know what to do with this frame. Okay, so it's going to send this frame across this link, this track port, this track, okay? Now, it arrives at switch 1, and switch 1 will look at this frame and say, okay, it's VLAN 11. So it means that I can send this frame to a PC that belongs to VLAN 11. Of course it will look at the MAC address and so on, but let's make it simple, okay? So it will see, okay, I have this PC over here. I cannot send it here because it belongs to VLAN 1. Okay, and then it goes back like this. Make sense? Good. VLAN 1 is a native VLAN. What does it mean? Let's go back. Let's say PC 0 wants to send a message to PC3, okay? So PC0 is sending a message to PC3, so it's, send, it's sending this message to the switch. The switch receives it at F01. F01 was assigned to VLAN 1. So what this switch will do, will say, okay, this frame belongs to VLAN 1. But wait a minute, wait a minute. VLAN 1 is our native VLAN and native VLAN here I should not put any tag, I should not label this frame so this switch will do, okay not really I will leave this frame as it is and will send it to this switch this switch will receive this frame and will say, uh, okay I cannot see any VLAN information, nothing, and uh, that is strange. So what what should I should what should I do? Should I just guess that it belongs to VLAN 11, maybe 25? Should I drop this frame? No. What I will do, I will assume that this frame belongs to VLAN 1, my native VLAN. Okay, and thanks to that, it knows how to treat this frame and where to send it, okay? And it will send it to PC3. And it, of course it will go back if that's uh, what this communication was all about. Okay, I will show you that it's possible to ping PC0 from PC2 without a router, even though they do not belong to the same VLAN. Okay, let's take a look. We'll use our native VLAN. Of course, it's for uh, for a lab topology only. Never try it in a production network. You will see why in a sec. Okay, so what we will do, we will go to switch one and we'll type the following command under the truck. Switch port track native VLAN 11. Okay, our switch will probably report that there is a native VLAN mismatch. That's okay because it's a lab only, so it's not a big issue. But never try it in a in a production environment because it will cause a lot of issues. This is 
to show you what a native VLAN is all about. Okay, so when I type show interface track, I will see that my native VLAN is VLAN 11. So it means that if a frame arrives with no VLAN information, I will tag, I will label it, oh, that's what I, I meant, I will label it with VLAN 11. Okay, so let's try. 1, 11. And it's working. Why? Well, PC0 is sending this frame to F01. F01 is in VLAN 1. It's our native VLAN, so the switch will not tag this frame. It will send across this track. Uh, switch 1 will see this frame and will say, OK, I cannot see any VLAN information and my native VLAN is VLAN 11. So I will say that this frame is in VLAN 11. Okay? And thanks to that we can ping like this. Okay? Will I be able to ping like this? Fail. Will I be able to ping like this? Fail. Okay? Because there are different native VLANs on both ends. Thank you very much. Uh, if you have any questions, please put some comments and I will try and help you.